on July 19, 1977, the world teacher, the Christ Maitreya, head of the spiritual hierarchy, emerged from his ancient retreat and is now in the modern world. With his disciples, the masters of the wisdom, he will inaugurate the new age of synthesis and brotherhood. Good morning and welcome to our World Teacher Program on Wellington's Access Radio 106.1 FM. Presented by Teresa and David on behalf of Share International New Zealand. Last month we presented a brief overview of the various books by Benjamin Krem and now there's a new publication, A Master Speaks, Volume 2, Articles from Share International magazine. June's magazine introduces it as follows. Readers of Share International will be glad to know that the much anticipated companion volume to A Master Speaks has just been published. A Master Speaks Volume 2 contains articles dictated by Benjamin Krem's master and published in Share International magazine from January 2004 to May 2016. Long in the making, it was planned with Benjamin Krem's cooperation and approval. As a disciple of one of the Masters of Wisdom who guide humanity's evolution, Benjamin Krem received these inspiring articles by Mental Telepathy. A highlight of the magazine, the articles were published almost monthly from the time Share International was launched with Benjamin Krem as founding editor in 1982. They cover a very wide range of topics including, among many others, the Brotherhood of Man, the Ending of War, Unity and Diversity, Saving the Planet and the Cities of Tomorrow. The book also contains a number of short messages from Maitreya that Benjamin Krem received occasionally at the end of media interviews, lectures or gatherings. The purpose of these articles is, in the Master's own words, to present to the readers of this magazine a picture of the life ahead, to inspire a happy and positive approach to that future and to equip them with the tools of knowledge to deal correctly with the problems which daily arise upon the way. From my vantage point of experience and insight, I have sought to act as a lookout and guide, to warn of approaching danger and to enable you, the reader, to act with courage and conviction in service to the plan. A Master Speaks Volume 2 is published in Benjamin Krem's memory and can be seen as a valedictory volume marking the ending of his lifetime's work with his master. The legacy of this work lives on in this new volume, a testimony to their close relationship. And now, from May's magazine, is this letter from the editors of Share International. We would like to express our thanks for the many positive and encouraging comments received about Share International magazine in recent months. Your support is appreciated. We are keenly aware of Benjamin Krem's physical absence, but we hope our equally keen awareness of his continuing help and guidance in our work will be welcome news to our readers. Understandably, at times of great change, questions arise, and supporters and critics alike hope for or expect answers. Articles by Benjamin Krem's master provide a source of insight as they deal with different issues and have proved their extraordinary aptness even when reprinted years after they were written. In the new circumstances, we think it important to revisit the aims and functions of this publication. Share International magazine is a vehicle for Maitreya's and Benjamin Krem's master's ideas, inspiration and insight. It is one of the main means by which we make known the presence in the world today of Maitreya and the masters of wisdom. The master has explained the past, illuminated the present and outlined the contours 
of the brilliant future civilization, which can be humanities if we take steps to implement Maitreya's priorities. The Master's articles, Messages from Maitreya, Answers given by Benjamin Krem to readers' questions, the descriptions of meetings with Masters or their representatives, the signs and miracles manifested by Maitreya and the Masters, all have given hope and inspiration to the world. The needed changes are spelled out, possible solutions pointed up, difficulties highlighted, wise advice is given and a vision held up of a fair and sane world in which the needs of all are met, where sharing and justice are the norm, allowing all to evolve into the divine beings we are in potential. Yet another function of Share International is that whenever these ideas elicit an intuitive response, they have an effect on the mental planes where they are picked up by sensitive, creative minds. The ideas are implemented and so civilization proceeds. Similarly, ideas go out on the mental plane as information about the emergence of Maitreya and the Masters is given out at public lectures. A further aspect of our work has been to provide more than facts, to contribute to the development of a new way of thinking. It is through the change of heart that humanity will make the changes the world needs. A subtle function of this magazine is the following. In the Master's articles and Benjamin Krem's answers to questions, the reader has a means to deepen his understanding of the nature of reality and of his own nature as an integral part of that greater life. This promotes the growth of the intuition and the broadening of consciousness. The Masters live outside of time. Masters see reality in the complete absence of time. To quote Benjamin Krem, who also talked of our humanity's obsession with time, the Master's very first article for Share International magazine dealt with the fact that time is a state of mind. Except when they were about a specific event, a particular moment in history, his articles are timeless. They were written from a far wider perspective than ours. They contain an insight into the sweep of history and humanity's likely responses. We have no hesitation in recommending them for renewed reading and study. Choosing an article appropriate for any given month and set of world circumstances requires protected consideration of the main factors at play in the world at the time of the editorial process. The selection is made with a view to addressing the relevant current issues. Fortunately, Benjamin Krem's master has provided a vast number of articles. Maitreya's priorities, the provision of enough food, adequate housing, health care and education as basic universal human rights are another major focus of our work. But as non-experts, we call in the specialist knowledge of many well-known figures. The editorial team investigates current events and breakthroughs in line with hierarchical insight. We choose experts whose ideas closely approximate those of Maitreya. In this way, we can draw attention to very hopeful developments which show clearly that humanity is responding to his presence and inspiration. Benjamin Krem's master indicated in the past that Share International magazine could play an educational role in the future and he would continue his association with it. Benjamin Krem also appealed to its well-wishers to continue to support it by subscribing. Some years ago, Benjamin Krem was asked by a journalist what would happen to his work when he died. The answer was humorous and clear. There are thousands of people with whom I've worked over the years, people in groups throughout the world. They know what to do. They know the information. They will continue this work of informing the public about the imminent appearance of Maitreya and the Masters. They might not be so happy because they won't have my jokes anymore, but they'll carry on the work. 
we are fortunate to have had Benjamin Krem's down-to-earth humorous example. He took the work seriously, but never himself. He was never the leader, and no one person is now in such a position. The following is a quotation from Esoteric Psychology, Volume 2, page 620, by the Master Dwal Kool. He describes the difference between a Piscean group with its over-reliance on the leader and new Aquarian groups which allow for more self-direction, leaving group members to take responsibility as adult disciples. This ensures the continuity of the work. The Master DK also refers to the involvement of the leader even after death. In the new age, the umbilical cord will be cut early in the life of the Aquarian group, but the leader or group of leaders will remain for a long time, as does the mother of a child, the guiding inspiration, the loving protecting force and the source of instruction and of teaching. When this is the case, the group can proceed upon its way and live its life as a self-directing agent, even when the leader passes over to the other side. The Masters know that we can manage for the short time remaining. We know we are not abandoned, neither by Benjamin Krem nor by the hierarchy. The plan is safe in the hands of Maitreya and the Masters. You're listening to the World Teacher Program on Wellington's Access Radio 106.1 FM. And now the second half of our program is sourced from the compilation section of May's Share International magazine. Here's a selection of quotations on the theme of the rise of people power, and are taken from Maitreya, Benjamin Krem's master, and Benjamin Krem's writings. Humanity is powerful. It has no idea of its power. There is nothing more powerful than a properly educated, massed public opinion. Maitreya counts on the formation of that mass public opinion to overthrow the present commercialization and to bring in the principles of sharing and justice. We owe it to ourselves to do it. Benjamin Krem from The Gathering of the Forces of Light There is growing evidence in the changes now taking place at an accelerating pace that some force or forces guides the destiny of the world. Few can believe that the historic transformations, the upsurge of aspiration for freedom and participation now witnessed on a massive scale result from mere coincidence and have no inner cause. Few would deny that the speed alone of these momentous changes suggests otherwise, points to the growing awareness by millions that their day of destiny has come, and that power from now rests with the people, and must be wielded for their good. Benjamin Krem's master from Day of Destiny. By the will of the Lord, the seed of awareness is cracking open now. People everywhere are becoming aware and will be unwilling to be dominated by others when their destiny is to be free. Governments everywhere will have to listen to the people. Government will be by the people, for the people. No one will be able to explain or comprehend fully this new sense of awareness but we will witness it and experience it. Maitreya from Maitreya's Teachings, The Laws of Life The people themselves are beginning to play their part. Through ballot box and demonstration, they are making their voices heard, their demands for peace known. From this point, there is no turning back. 
the people are sensing their power and are coming to understand that they must make the peace they all desire and that only when justice reigns with freedom will blessed peace be assured. Benjamin Krems master from The Futility of War Eventually, organised, educated and inspired by Maitreya, the power of the people will manifest through a massed world public opinion against which no nation can stand. We are only at the beginning of this process, but in time, people power will be the strongest force on earth. Benjamin Krem, The Gathering of the Forces of Light My teaching will show you that there is nothing in this world which, if needed, cannot be achieved by man. Man is a god and requires only to manifest that divinity to flourish. My presence will assure you that this is so, for my brothers, the masters of wisdom, and I shall show you the wonders of your divine nature. In this way shall you sense your potential and grow in light. Maitreya from message number 71 The powerful events, now daily happenings, throughout the world are awakening men's realisation that they are witnessing the death throes of a dying culture and, by implication, the creation of a new. The form that the new culture might take remains for the most part vague and unsubstantial, but one factor has already registered itself in the minds of public and media alike. The growing strength of the people's voice and the growing determination to make that voice be heard. This is the most important political event of our time. Throughout the world, the peoples of the nations are taking control of their destiny and demanding their rights. The inner call for freedom, intrinsic to their divinity, unites people of all races and creeds, and, in growing crescendo, will echo and re-echo until the last bastions of tyranny crumble and men can inherit their birthright. Benjamin Krems Master from The People's Voice People power is not about bringing down the economic structure of any particular country. It is about the winning of freedom, justice and peace for the people of that country. The ultimate aim should always be kept in mind which is the establishment of freedom, justice and peace throughout the world. It should be obvious that a radical reorganisation of the world's economic structures must take place for this to be achieved. Sharing, you will find, is the paramount mechanism for this achievement. Benjamin Krem, Unity in Diversity Many there are today who, in their hearts, renounce the iniquities of the present materialism which pervades the planet. They long for justice and peace, and march and demonstrate for their fulfilment. More and more, the peoples of the world are beginning to recognise that together they have the power to change the actions of powerful men. Thus does Maitreya trust the people and gives voice to their demands. Thus does he join their marches and adds his voice to theirs. Benjamin Krems Master from The End of Darkness It is important to maintain a growing number of marches, not now and again, but continually. And these sustained demonstrations will have a gradual impact on government thinking. It is difficult for us to estimate the value of such demonstrations, but the masters are in no doubt that they are very powerful levers of change. We must organise them more and more frequently and with even greater numbers. People power will transform the world. Benjamin Krem, Unity in Diversity The people's voice is rising, imperious to be heard. It is the harbinger of the new time, the new dispensation struggling to be born. Despite, nay because of the plans and actions of dangerous men, the people are throwing off their ancient yoke and claiming their right to be heard. A new urgency and a new confidence invests their claim with power. 
The power of the people's voice breaks through the age-old bondage and points the way to the future. More and more the people are realising that the role of government is to dispense the needs of the people, that there is no problem or difficulty in which war is the only solution. The sour voices of power-hungry leaders may for the moment seduce the fearful or unwary, but their time is limited, is drawing to a close. Benjamin Krems Master from The Ending of Bondage The voice of humanity as a whole is very powerful indeed. You would be surprised what a powerful impact comes from the manifestation of our free will on the events of the world. We do tremendous harm through the misuse of our free will. Likewise, we can do tremendous good through its correct use. It is largely in humanity's hands. We have enormous power. Used wisely, and in this way you can see how quickly the world can change, under the correct leadership and guidance of Maitreya, we can, if we will, transform the world. In two to three years, we can transform the whole world in terms of the economic structure simply by humanity making known to the governments of the world that that is how we want it, what must be. Benjamin Krem, My Trayer's Mission, Volume 3 The voice of the people is rising, nay, has risen, and is calling men to declare themselves. The people, clear-eyed and unafraid, have looked into the future and have seen the possibility of the fulfilment of their aspirations for a just and peaceful world. They know that this will not happen by itself, but that they must, together with their brothers and sisters, take the power of fulfilment into their own hands. They know too that the way may be hard and dangerous, but that the prize is too precious for them to fail, for it is the prize of brotherhood, of justice and peace and a better, simpler and truer life for all. Benjamin Krems Master from The People's Voice Heralds the Future And we'll finish with message number 61 from Maitreya speaking through Benjamin Krem. Simple indeed will be my approach On this fact you may count. As a brother among brothers, I shall speak for you all. Voice aloud your aspirations and hopes. Make known the desire of all men for a world at peace, for a just and noble readiness to share for the creation of a society based on freedom and love. By my enunciation of these principles, will you know and discover me? My intention is to reveal myself soon and by the shortest route. All else failing, I shall emerge into a world ready 
but unprepared. A world which knows not yet that I am among you. But far better would it be for me to come before you as the expected one, the one sent by God to lead you into your future glory. Many know this, but many more by far are ignorant of the true happenings of the time. I do solemnly appeal to you, therefore, my dear friends, to make known the fact of my presence among you and pave smooth my way. And that ends our programme today. Tune in again next month on Saturday the 15th of July at the usual time of 10am. For more information phone us on 06 36461. That number again is 06 36461 or visit share-international.org We stock all of Benjamin Krem's books so if you would like a price list please send your request to PO Box 9576 Wellington or phone 04234 That's 04234 You've been listening to Teresa and David on behalf of Share International New Zealand. You can listen again to this program or previous ones online at accessradio.org.nz. Click on Programs and scroll down to the World Teacher link.